Hello, hello, and welcome, guys, to another episode of our podcast, Real Talk. And today we are going to be talking on a very, very special and interesting topic. I think it hit close to home for almost everyone, for ev- almost everyone here. So, the topic for today is: Is it healthy for couples to fight in a relationship? So today, here with me, I have um very some very special guests. Actually, two new guests that we haven't heard on the show before. So by my right, you have Mr. Success, and by my left, or <laughs> directly opposite me, we have Miss Anita. Welcome, welcome, guys, to the show. Please say hi to the. Hi. To good the evening. Anita. Hello, everyone. Yeah. Welcome to the show. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you for joining us today thank you for uh, for your presence on the show today um we're just going to jump straight into it without wasting too much time uh so this the topic remains is it healthy for couples to fight in a relationship so mr success can you tell us your point of view on that do you think it's good do you think it's bad what do you think okay for me i just feel um when it comes to being a couple yeah you know what they say um uh, there is never a perfect relationship. That's true, yeah. So if couples don't fight, it's I think it's unhealthy for the relationship. Really? Yeah. yeah. That's true. Because sometimes it it gives you the um, the ability to air your anger, frustration, your view. Because sometimes it's it's healthy for a relationship, but when you when you when you want to bottle your emotions because okay you don't want to make it seem okay it's been childish to fight yeah. but i think in the end it's going to maybe crash the relationship because it may just make it seem like the both of you are not true sure to yourself okay yeah that's that's my own opinion so fighting in a relationship is healthy but toxic fighting i mean repeated fight, um, fighting becomes an issue yeah. probably that's where we don't want to dive into so but for me, but I, I, I want I want us to dive into it actually. How when does it become toxic? Because how do you gauge it? If should you like not talk about them, um, maybe something like the person's cleanliness or because I I think it's when you cross boundaries that you fight in the relationship between two people. So when does it become toxic? Like you said. And the thing is when it, when toxic in in the sense, you know sometimes there are some issues that look too trivial. Yes. So trivia issues are, to an essence, shouldn't be a bone of contention. Mm. But when trivia issue becomes the main reason why you fight all the time, then probably there should be a realignment on if the both of you are compatible together. Okay. Because over time, that's why sometimes they tell you, okay, before you dive into it, it's, it's, it's always very good for you to make mistakes being in a relationship. Okay. Than making mistakes when you're already married because oh, sometimes yeah. they tell you when you cross that line that's that that's a finish line being in, being in marriage yeah. it then means like turning back the end of time it's it seems like almost impossible because too many lives might be affected probably probably maybe you might have had um kids together yeah. so sometimes that's why sometimes for me i, I feel um over time uh it's it's better you do the needful up initial hmm. from the onset. onset yeah before because you need to test the waters hmm. that's why sometimes when people tell you oh, i'm in a relationship uh we have been together for six months that's not relationship that's just <laughs> because relationship it takes true test of time hmm. so i do tell people like don't ever tell a person you love him just let time decide it's only time that tells if you love a person and during those times you would meet where you call in fighting, uh, where you fight with each other, and you still have the ability to make okay. up. So, so that's just my take. So a little bit of fighting is good. Yes, a little bit, but too much of it. You know what they say? Too much of everything is bad. bad. Yeah. So that's for me. Thank you. Thank you so much. So, real quick, we're just going to head over to the next special guest that we have on the show, yeah. Miss Anita. <laughs> so, um, Anita, I don't know. I don't know. Do you agree with success or? Do you have a different point of view? Is fighting healthy in a relationship? Mm, like you said, I, everything you said is actually the fact. But okay. 
Like I, I totally agree with him. Yeah. But at some point, it's also good to um, have a healthy, should I say, fight. Mm. It's not called that way, but just put it in that way because okay. if you fight constantly, it's also really very, very bad. Yeah. And then you have people around. Probably you have um, your friends, and then you, or probably you have kids. Mm. They get involved, and then it becomes really unhealthy. So what I feel is um, it's good to actually um, talk about things in a very, very um, unique way. Um, should I say? respectful way sometimes yeah. people get angry but they don't they don't you don't see it in them mm. they just sit you down and then they talk to you babes i don't like what you did mm. guy i did not like what you did this is how it's supposed to be why some people they cannot keep calm when they are even having issues so it's not until you you raise your voice or you stand up bass boss that you're actually fighting some mm. couples they fight but they they, are, they can sit in the same chair to actually talk things out and then if you're also going to probably have issues with your partner or you guys have a misunderstanding, you shouldn't pass that day for you guys to sort it out. Mm. Because once it passes that day, it becomes um, unhealthy. It continues. That's why you see some people, they'll say, I'm angry, I don't want to talk to my boyfriend today. It will get to the next day, they still don't want to talk to their boyfriend. Not because they don't love the guy, or just because they are probably angry and they actually they feel entitled that, yes, I'm supposed to get angry and I'm not supposed to really hear from this person, even when the person is trying to reach out to you. Mm. And you see what happened to Rico. I don't know if you guys um, hear about the celebrity Rico. Rico Suave. actually had an issue here. Yeah, Rico Suave had an issue. Yeah, it's late. He had an issue with his girlfriend. Yeah. And they didn't, they didn't talk for some days. And then before he died, he said, according to the story, before he died, I think he was trying to reach his girlfriend, according to what I heard. And then she didn't pick up the call. And then at that point, when he died, he dawned on her that she had messed up, she had, she had fucked up. Because yeah. if she had probably called him, you know, or he replied his messages, yeah. or even come see him, at least she won't feel guilty. I'm very, very sure that she feels bad up to this extent. Yeah. So I feel it's also good to fight, but it depends on how you guys put it. Because it can be very toxic, and it can always, very, it can, it can always continue every day. So when you guys fight and come back together... It's, it makes sense that way. That's that's my own. Okay. Just before we let you go, um, so in the relationship, when two people have passed the extent where it's no longer just a mini fight, how do you propose someone like rectify the fight? Who should approach who first? Should it be the guy or the girl or the person that is at fault or how do you think they should rectify? Because according to what we have said collectively, I don't know. It's just ringing in my head that there should be fighting, but it should to be it should be to an extent. When you've reached that extent that it's no longer a little fighting, mm. it's a really big fight now. Mm. How do you propose that they resolve okay. it? First of all, I don't feel there should be a third party in a relationship. It's okay. actually a mess. Yeah. So no other it's person should come with. It's a mess. It. It's, a, it's actually a mess. It depends, uh, but it's a mess. Okay. For me, I think two people should probably settle their stuff. Mm. Then if it gets out of hand, yeah. you can probably go to a therapist. Mm. Or there's, there should be a person your partner listens to. If you're dating somebody, the person doesn't have someone that listens to that. You are in a mess, actually. Mm. Like, you don't have a guide and you don't have someone that... So you're talking like yes. a family member or a friend? It or... might not be a family member. Oh, it might not be a family member. Okay. A friend? Or... Yes, that the person listens to, that you can always go and meet, okay. please. But if the person doesn't have... I mean, I don't know what you guys are... I, I think that's... <laughs> so you that's, are actually, that's yes, like yes, a recipe yes, for yes, fighting yes. all the so time. Some people are like that. Like, resolving it. Nobody can talk to me. I have a mind of my own. Even if you talk to anybody, nobody can actually talk to me. Fear those type of people. Yeah, they definitely do yes. that. Yeah, yeah. So if um, you guys are having an issue, whether the other person um, started the fight or offended you, you shouldn't wait. You, you shouldn't wait to go and meet your partner. You shouldn't wait for the person who offends you to come mm. meet you. Yeah. Yes, it's 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 supposed to be um um in like should I say whether um you insult the person yeah. or you cause the fight. You should also go and meet your partner and say, this is what you've done. I, I don't like this. I feel we should talk about this. And I feel you owe me an apology. Okay. And please don't do it again. So it's not who started the fight that is going to probably say, I'm that sorry or whatever. That's, that's my own. That's the actual yes. reason why I asked yes. the question. Because most people are like, oh, he started it, so he has to come no, apologize. No, no, it's not, it's not supposed yeah. to be like that. So guys, do try to talk to your partners. Talk it out. Even though it's not easy. Talking, it's not apologizing. Telling the person he or she did something wrong so the person can apologize is a way to actually solve the conflict instead of 
letting it grow and become something toxic so thank you so much anita we really enjoyed your what's your input there so we move over to another person on the show my bad for not introducing him in the first place but he's a regular customer here so you he's not straight he's no stranger to the show mr noel please can you take tell us your take on this is fighting healthy in a relationship what do you think it's not healthy, but it's okay to fight. It's okay to fight sometimes. Okay. It depends on the stamina, yeah. knowing the person you are with, knowing the partner you are with. Because sometimes you have these kind of people, they just they hide things inside. They don't bring it out. So yeah. you make them get angry, they go angry. You say everything inside them. You fight, you understand. Yeah. It brings understanding. Yeah. That's just the major point. Yeah. But fighting, fighting all the time, yeah. it's not okay. Yeah. It's unhealthy. You're going somewhere that you don't want to go. But do you Understand? agree that it's possible for a fight yeah. that it's not supposed to have happened, that happened, and it can be actually what causes the major problem? I don't get it. Come again. Like, um, and how, how, how do I put this? So, if a couple yeah. were to fight right now, yeah. if a couple were to have a, a situation, yeah. and they, they fought about it, and then it led to a bigger problem. Yeah. Meanwhile, if they hadn't uh, uh, fought, yeah. they wouldn't have had that problem. It would have just been like something that was supposed to be a mutual understanding. But yeah. then they ended up fighting about it and it led to something even bigger. Do you think it's possible for it, for that to happen? Sorry, that's, the mis- that's the different one. That's the misunderstanding. Well, I'm just asking, do you think it's possible for that to happen? Yeah, okay. it's, yeah it's possible. Okay, okay. Yeah. That's just what I want to know because yeah. I think there are instances yeah. where you have people who are just supposed to like two people are having a, an out. issue yeah. yeah even without talking about it you're supposed to know okay um how do i say it? maybe someone complains about this thing all the time yeah it's not supposed to be a matter you're supposed to fight about right but then the person just flares Throw up out. yeah Let to another yeah because you know i mean of course maybe the fighting might actually lead, be a good thing but in this case now it's not a good it's going thing. somewhere yeah, yeah and then it leads to something it's bigger. Escalate, yeah maybe the person says <laughs> out like, of control something he shouldn't have said to the, to the partner so fighting I, do you think that's what I'm asking do you think fighting can actually lead to that yes yes of course okay yeah okay. sometimes yeah, it goes out of control sometimes yeah I do completely <coughs> I do completely agree I mean it's a very pretty straightforward of you actually but some people usually get it confused some people think there are some people who are of the yeah. mindset that not fighting in the relationship actually is a good thing uh, it's a good sign. If you can control the other yeah. partner, some because very some young people with anger, and upset, very upset, hundred percent. <laughs> you can't talk to them with, with fighting. Okay. Bro, I trust me. I like you can't talk to them to calm down and talk things through when they're yeah, fighting. Yeah, that's a really good point. I think they go out of uh, anger, you know. Yeah, and I think so, I need to mention something like you should yeah. know your partner. Yes. That will actually help stop the you know exactly stop the fight. If or, you're dating a person for six happening. months a year, you know, fought or have misunderstanding. Mm. That person is not your partner. Yes. You're just playing. Yeah, yeah, success did say so. I'm sure yeah. they don't even love themselves. You're having fun. It's just yeah. Be- yeah. friends with benefits. That's it. You're having fun. Say, yeah. Oh, it's so perfect. We don't fight. We don't argue. They don't have an Wow. Issue. Gracias. Yeah. That's a very big mistake. Very unique one. Yeah. So that's it. So th- this, is my, this is my other question. Usually in a relationship, guys, couples early in the relationship, they don't usually experience fighting. Is it true? Is that the initial stage? Yeah. They don't usually so in this case now, is it bad? It's specific. No. Months or years the, I don't get. You know when early, you, when you say after early, marriage, say three, months, six months, no, like no, we no, marry. When, no, no, when you say couple. Yeah. Are you talk, talking about Marry. when they are already married? No, no, no. I'm talking it's about relationship. relationship. Yeah, 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 like, yeah, just okay. Marriage is still a relationship, but I'm talking about people who are not married. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Just relationship. Yeah, just you know, okay. casual dates. <laughs> They are the doing thing this is, it's kind of tricky. You know why? <laughs> why? You know, sometimes in life you tend to want to please someone because probably is a new catch. Mm. Yeah, people tend Not to be do real. That. Yeah, you understand. And and let's say ninety eight percent of relationship are based on falsehood and lies. It's usually not love. It's yeah, like infatuation, lust. Infatuation, exactly. You understand? Because oh, because I I I I tell people, um, you could only tell a person you love him, him or her, probably when you've seen, you've had sex. Mm-hmm. 
before you slept in the night she was at your side and when you woke up you still met her probably at night she snores so too many things begin to come in so when you combine all these factors and yet you could still tell the person that i love you that's true love one of a kind <laughs> That's a, that's a good point. Yeah. So 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 the thing is, people tend to because it's it's people tend to just play to the gallery. I, I, I don't want to fight with her. Yeah. It's not just a new catch. I mean, it's because they want probably their partner to feel good. Probably uh, yeah, okay, it's nice because okay, you know they say the like well, there's always a very popular saying like the ends justifies the it's all about the beginning. It's all always all about the ending. How is it gonna end? So the thing is, for for the beginning, it's 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 fine. You could just uh, play to the guy like, okay, uh, no fighting, uh, let's be cool. But for real, if we are to be real to ourselves, it's not possible. If I'm staying with you, it's not for, possible for it to happen or it's not it's not possible for it not to happen for the fighting not to happen yes because it, it, you, the, because the thing is one thing you should understand is the both of us are from two different backgrounds two different worlds entirely yeah. we were brought up differently that's how I take this uh, because they do tell you that where you live in shapes the person you become in life so the question is, if I'm coming from a Z point of view and you're coming from an A point of view, it's not going to rhyme. It's not going to be like water and salt. It's going to be like... Yeah, like... So it takes time. You know what an oil can actually miss when you start hitting? It takes time. It, you so, so it takes time. It takes a whole lot of effort to process. So beginning of a relationship, there's supposed to be disagreements supposed to be. yes because the thing is people tend to okay uh someone does something that is not nice you just say ah, now you catch if i if i react man she'll say no, she'll come to, you understand so <laughs> so people tend to play to the gallery but it's not that, like i told you not like 98 percent of relationship yeah. are based on lies and false but, but do you, don't you don't you think that you reacting that early in a relationship will scare the person away the thing is just, like i said yeah we all play to the gallery like okay we no one make it the thing is sometimes you know you know one thing that's why they tell you okay you need to have patience perseverance uh tolerance uh so those are the things that make you probably no one to speak uh, it's okay just okay just let it slide okay. even if on a normal um circumstances you're pissed yeah you piss it and like you swallow it what did, you do? <laughs> what did this guy they do what did this guy they do yeah, yeah. But you just bottle, bottle it, bottle up your emotions. But and okay, let okay, you could say it's nice, you could tell me it's nice, or to, because it's too early for the relationship. Okay. But the question is, uh, will I say, um, calm correction, calm observation yeah. is key. You might not bring it up as bring it up as if it's a quarrel or. You want to make it look like you're not happy. But there's a way you put it. A girl or a girl who is, who is okay. Because all of us know where. <laughs> but, but a girl or a girl who is okay would read between the lines what you're trying to communicate or decode to him or her. All right, let me just pause you there real quick. Anita, can you tell us your point of view real quick on this matter so that we get the, the, what we're, from what success has said? We are saying in an early stage of relationship, usually couples don't fight. Do you agree? Mm, I don't agree. You don't agree? Yeah, I feel um, if you're in a relationship, it's 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 like you're going to I don't know. It's a school. Okay. Yes, you learn. Okay. So it's you have to bring out your your uniqueness. It might not be bad. It might not be good. It might be bad. But just be you because you cannot pretend for long. But Some people it, pretend till marriage. True, but there's you a difference between being you. And then being disrespectful because some people in their relationship they are trying to be them and then they end up pushing the partner away it's it's better for you to show like be you if the person has to stay 
you do is the, the person is going to stay there's something you guys can work on you guys are going to work on it's something you guys need to see a therapy about you'll be able to do that why do you see some people stay with girls that are probably drugs like Sorry, drug addicts you know they, but they just love them for who they are and then they go through shit together you see them they visit hospitals you see them trying to make things work out it's not a day thing do you understand so i feel you should not pretend so even six months no even four, three months in a relationship you should have like arguments but it should not be toxic like it's something you can sit down and talk about it but if you say you want to pretend oh my that relationship is not going to it's not going to work and i feel the person is just there for something like friends with benefits so you can't you can't pretend for long that's it real quick mr noel anything anything to add to what they've said yeah, do you agree well, i agree with that you agree yeah, completely spoke my mind yeah okay 100 i do i do tend to agree i just want to add something that if in the relationship i think you should know maybe not completely but you should feel the vibe of your partner because why i'm pushing that in the relationship early in the relationship people don't usually fight is because when you feel the vibe of your partner let's say it's a cool calm dude and you're like a outgoing kind of girl you know you're like you say the way it is kind of girl but you notice this guy if you should tell him something too harsh it's the truth it's the correct thing you're supposed to you're trying to correct him from a place of love obviously if you should say it in that outright kind of way he might perceive it like you are trying to like insult him or something or you're trying to like say it in a mean way to him so i i feel i i think that if you have that kind of partner it should depend on the type of partner now then you should know how to like say things of course going deep and deep into the relationship both of you will learn to tolerate yourself but those early stages i do think it's crucial to perceive the person know this person fighting is good but you should know when to fight i don't know if any, anybody share my point to, to, to apply the brakes <laughs> To also do know yeah. when to apply the brakes. Yeah, yeah, I do. I do. That's just what I think. So, everybody with their own point of view, and every relationship is definitely different. It's different for everybody. So, I think in the end, we are all sharing the same point of view. I, I do wish we had someone with a contrary point of view. Let's see from that person's perspective, because, like you said, um, we're learning every day. So, we don't know. Maybe the person might be right, but. I think majority majority carries the vote here. Yeah. If anybody have any other thing to add to what we said, I want to add something outside the box. I'm just so staying the question. So staying you, in you, on topic, of course. Of course. Yes, please. I'm, not, I'm going outside. How come you have experience about relationship and you're not there yet? Like you have experience. You're single, right? I'm currently, but I've dated before, of course. So the experience you passed on this topic or what? How come you know fighting is it's okay to fight and all that? I mean it I I don't know for other people for me it's it's more like it's more like um how I don't want to put it in an offensive way to people who have been in a relationship for yeah. long and they still don't know these things but I feel like it's just common sense okay let me put it like this okay I've not maybe I've not been in a relationship with another with another gender for so long so, yeah. but I have been in a relationship with other human beings for long and to be honest it's not that different it's not very different they are very slim differences how right. to tolerate somebody doesn't should, shouldn't depend on the gender uh, yeah. it, it doesn't have to do with the gender if you can tolerate a guy with what he's doing and everything it should, it should apply to a girl too of course the parameters are not you know slim. they are slim of yeah. course but they are still there it's mm-hmm. different gender and a relationship with a girl is different from a relationship with a boy so what I'm saying is, I've been with human beings and I just think, yeah, maybe it's just because of the way I think. Maybe, maybe, I don't know. 100%. Thank you so much. I don't know. Yeah, everybody with their own thought, everybody with their own approach to problems. So I feel like if I was in this situation, this is what I would do. Well, as a man, that's how I think. I think about the problems and then I find solutions to them even before I get there. So, and that's why you cannot be in a relationship that you two people are giving one person has to be cool. Yes. One person has to be like, you know, not not hot like I felt. So yeah. the person so, tells you, I don't like when you shout on me, babes. Mm. You know how to approach it next time. Because it's not by shouting that you have to resolve issues. True, so if you true. know your partner is calm and he doesn't like noise, he doesn't like when you shout on him, there's a way you have to like, you, li- you have to listen. Sacrifices, you have to li- listen and then bring it down. Agree. Same as the girl also. Do you understand? So it's about um, understanding, understanding, yeah. All right. So, yeah, guys, you heard it here first, or maybe not here first, but you definitely heard it here. Fighting in a relationship is 
not bad you should actually do from time to time fight maybe not on purpose but whatever is going to lead to the fight should come from a place, place of love as we have said should also be direct and should be open it should be in a, in a way that you want to talk to the person not like you want to like bring up a fight or anything.